good morning. So it's day three. Um, unfortunately, today I'm not isolating, but I will be practicing um, the appropriate amount of social distancing throughout the day. Um, we're doing a, um, we're moving our office from one floor to the other. The building's completely empty and I think there's like maybe four of us all up. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's going to be interesting. Um, but I am definitely up for the challenge of, um, keeping away from people. Um, in fact, a good portion of the day will just be me running away from people, which, you know, it's nothing new really. The, um, good thing about it was that I was able to stop in at um, Macca's and get myself a chai latte. Um, just shout out to um, the hardworking staff at Macca's Stanmore. They will always look after me in the mornings. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how today pans out. Oh, so I'm in the middle of um, moving. I'm just, um, as you can see, I'm taking all this stuff to my car for my work at home setup. I am sweating like a pig. I should have worn my bloody, um, oh, what are they called? I forget it. My active wear. Totally should have worn my active wear for this today. I did not think I would be sweating anywhere near this much. Oh, anyway, what a what a morning so far. The things that I'm um, discovering in the fridge, that's a whole other story. Um, I'll check back in soon. And I've just discovered that the um, wardrobe of um, jumpers and crap that I have in the boot of my car has um, really come in handy today. Ah uh, no, social distancing, one person in the lift at the same time. Occupado. So I've just um, come back from um, doing some moving stuff in the office, was there for a couple of hours. Um, roads pretty quiet, but I must say that like, just because there's not a lot of people on the road, um, it doesn't mean that you don't have to use your indicator. So people please still use your fucking indicators, okay? That's my little rant over. Um, interesting morning. We've all been, um, practicing our social, uh, sorry, physical distancing. Very good with that. I think I'm very proud of us. We, we did very well. Um, I did have a thought though, as I was driving home, right? So I bought my basketball yesterday because I do want to, um, you know, I, I want to keep up and improve my ball handling skills. And, um, and also, you know, keep, keep the, um, shooting going. And, um, like, I know that we're not supposed to be having big, like, you know, people congregating around and stuff like that, particularly indoors and, and outdoors, right? You know, you don't want to have groups of people down at the basketball court or football field. Like the, the PM was very specific about that. But so I was thinking like, you know, if you can have like the two person thing, right, that that would be okay. So I was, Ch Mrs. Chant and I were thinking of um, going down and having, having a few shots at the basketball court. There's this, you know, little, little one that's near DP. And while I'm there, I can also um, stalk him too. So, you know, that's on my list. I, I can, I can do a little stalk while I'm there. So um, look out for that DP. Um, but anyway, I was like, so say, for example, um, I'm on one side of the basketball ring at the three-point line, like, you know, practicing my three-pointers, and then in, you know, proper physical distancing etiquette, Mrs. Chance all the way on the other side. It's going to be pretty difficult to have a conversation. Um, and then, like, let's say Donnie wanders down, and he's all the way up the other end, right? Because we want to, we want to be doing the right thing. We don't, like, I don't want to be getting people locked down because I went out and practiced my my ball handling skills. Um, so I, I'm tr I'm really trying to do the right thing. Um, so 
it's going to be extremely difficult to have a conversation because we're just going to be yelling at everyone. So my thought was, um, I think that I'd like to invest in a megaphone um, because I could always be louder and more annoying. Um, My birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks. I am sad because it's looking like I'm going to be sitting in my flat all alone because I'll have nowhere to go, no one to see, like, well, what am I going to do? So it's going to, it's going to be a bit like, you know, a bit email of a birthday. Um, so I was like, if people are like stuck on an idea for, um, you know, what to get me for a birthday present that may be like, um, you know, we could pass the hat around for a megaphone or like start a GoFundMe page to get me a megaphone. Um, cause like if I had a megaphone, I'd totally make like, I promise I'd make such good use out of it. Um, cause not only then would I be able to communicate with my friends at a like very, like more than appropriate distance away from them. I could also entertain all of my neighbors from my balcony. Um, you know, like if, if we all go into lockdown, I could get out my megaphone and like, I could sing to everyone, you know, like Homer Simpson styles, you know, that song that he sings when he's like, I gave my love a chicken. It had no bone. I could totally sing that to everyone and they'd love it. Like, oh, it makes so many people happy. Just a thought, just a thought. Man, that's a lot of fluid there. I bloody forgot to take my Barocca this morning. Um, got a bit of a headache, so that's why I got the aspirin happening there. And um, I made me some Lem sip because I am a bit decongested and run down. So hoping that'll clear out the passages a bit. And, um, you know, even though it tastes like cat's piss, not that I know, right, what cat's piss tastes like, but I imagine that if I drank cat's piss, it would taste very much um, like this lem sip or um, VB um, and then also um, some green tea because you know I've got to keep up with the green tea you know the antioxidants and all that crap and you know flushes out the old system so um, I'm gonna drink all of that and chances are in the next hour I'm gonna be um, you know peeing a lot. Kind of a good thing that um, I had to get some stuff so I could work from home. Gave me the opportunity to clear out the um, boot with my um, wardrobe I had happening there. Looks like I'm gonna be doing some washing this weekend. Oh, I'm so glad that day's over. Far out. See you soon with something potentially exciting. I've decided to uh, wrap up a little early tonight. Um, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I've had a big day today. Yesterday was also pretty busy, especially with the early morning um, getting getting the TP. If you haven't already seen my little uh, T, TP video I've put together, which is pretty pretty cool. It's it's pretty special. Um, do check it out. It's on my YouTube channel and it is also on my Facebook page. So yeah, I did have plans to do something semi exciting after work, but they fell through. So hopefully, um, that little adventure will happen tomorrow afternoon after work. So fingers, fingers crossed. Uh, that we can we can make that happen because I've got something pretty pretty special planned, um, you know. And chances are I'll be laughing a lot. So I still want more suggestions for my list of things to do in self isolation because I've only received um, one. I've only received one request overnight, and that was to get all of the alcohol that is in my house and combine it and then um, drink it. And my response was, fuck no, because I will throw my hole up and then die. You know, like, admittedly, 
I don't want Corona to get me. If I'm going to be gotten, like alcohol would be like a pretty, you know, much better way to go out, right? But um, I'm not planning on going just yet. So um, I'm sorry, but that's a hard no to the combination of alcohol and drinking that. You can do that, but I ain't touching that. Um, in regards to my list, um, my current list, um, let me see what I've got. Um, I did send my funny to Mrs. Chant this morning. Um, what else have I got? I didn't eat any fruit today. Oh, that was naughty, especially with that Macca's trip this morning. I, um, did wear a shirt with a, um, I've worn a sporting reference shirt. So this is the New South Wales Swifts. Netty team um sidebar this is this is from a few years ago i probably shouldn't wear this shirt because i'm actually a collingwood magpie supporter but um i i do like my swifties i was i was a huge fan back in the day i um i have been told off for changing my allegiances because i've been told you know when you've got a team it's your team but in my defense i've always been a collingwood supporter ever since like I was a little tacker it's like it's in my blood you know um and they put in a netball team so I'm like sorry I have to go with my you know they're they're my little tacker team you know um so you know but I also I still like my swift so um you know it's, it's a good shirt this one it's you know we've we've seen we've seen some stuff this shirt me and this shirt um, so what else have I got? And, um, I did, um, finally download the TikTok app. Haven't done anything with it yet, but I've got it. So it's a good start. Um, so yeah, please send me your suggestions because I want more. Um, and I think that's, that's all for this evening. So shorter, shorter one than usual. And, um, don't forget about, um, my megaphone because I really want one. Um, anyway, guys, stay, stay safe and, um, keep it real, eh? See you tomorrow.